Hey there, how you doing? Dave Fenoy here. Another Wednesday, another Ask Dave Fenoy Anything. Hope everybody's doing okay as we get over the hump this week. Uh, and just a reminder, if uh, you wanted to watch and Ask Dave Fenoy Anything that you missed, or you're worried about missing one because you want all that vital information, fear not. Uh, these live on my YouTube channel, Dave Fenoy Voice Over Training. They're they're all there and lots of other things as well. And if you're somebody looking for uh, private coaching or want to keep up with where I'll be coaching and uh, get a reminder about this every week, you can stop by, sign up at DaveFenoy.com and just click on the Study VO tab up at the top. Well, let's get to my guest. She is waiting uh, in my virtual green room. Uh, oh, and let me say hello to a few people, a couple of people. Stephen, how you doing? Or is it Stephen or Stefan? Uh, and Sarah Tyndall, yeah, right. And uh, oh, there it is, uh, J.D. Kane. Well, anyway, I think a lot of you know this woman. Uh, she's been doing this. Well, we'll get into that. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to my guest. There she is, Jen Henry. Hey! Oh, they love you. <laughs> Oh, the crowd's going wild. The crowd's going wild. How are you? I'm oh, fantastic. fantastic. I, this, this is just, just such an amazing, amazing experience. experience. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Wait, wait, we just got started. How is it amazing so far already? <laughs> I just... <laughs> Damn! It's, it's, um, yeah, yeah, it's this is cool, man. This, this is, is very cool. cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you, you've got some fans. I was checking Facebook uh, a little earlier today. And uh, I was surprised at the number of, of people that were just, yay, Jen Henry's going to be on. There's Jen A. Oh, <laughs> um, and uh, all, their, all their checks, checks are in the mail. mail. You know, one of the things, it's interesting. Um, when I ask people to, to come on and be a guest, I uh, ask for a lot of different reasons. Um, and I ask them for, I need a little bio and send me some pictures. And uh, sometimes people only send one, or do I have to send pictures? Um, and you sent pictures of you and everybody in this business. I mean, you I could have probably I... used dozens more, uh, but you sent a lot of pictures with you and lots of people in the voiceover community. And in your bio, you talked about that, the importance of being a part of the voiceover community and how... Uh, wonderful it makes you feel. Tell me about that. Not just your work here, but what is it about the voiceover community that you love so much? It's, it's um, it's, it's home. home. It, it was, was, I mean, forever, forever I, was I was that kid that, that was, um, I sat, sat with, with the teachers, teachers when there was a field, field trip and, and didn't, didn't, didn't ever, ever really seem to have a place at the table, table with, with, you know, other, other people, people. And I, I felt like, like I just, I just didn't, didn't belong, belong and I just didn't, didn't fit in places. places. And that created, created definitely, definitely some awkwardness. awkwardness. And, and so, so when, when I found radio, radio that was lesser and started, started to, to, to find, find my people, people so, so to speak. speak. But man, voiceover. voiceover. When, when, when I, I found, found you guys, you found me, I, I'm, I'm not sure how, how it works to this day, day but, but everything, everything just changed. I I met people who were the same kind of weird as me in, in all in all the best ways in all in all the best ways i mean if you go to a conference you hear so many obscure things that maybe people in other places wouldn't pick up on whether it's video game lines or uh lines from different cartoon series or star trek or star wars or, or you know things being thrown around and everything just melded together, together and fell together. together. And the, the love, love and support, support that I felt from this community is not like anything I've ever experienced before. And it's just well, absolutely you know, tremendous. It's really uh, elevating. What, I, what I've noticed uh, in my interactions with you when I've run into you at uh, conventions, uh, you're always wide open, hello, how you doing, full of love, uh, full of questions. Um, and, and just sharing and giving, uh, you take on, uh, other people's problems and issues and want to be a problem solver. And, uh, I, I, I really think people like you are the best part of us in voiceover. 
Uh, but enough slapping you on the back and patting your back. Let's talk about <laughs> yeah. how you got in this wacky business of voiceover. Uh, uh, how'd you get into radio and how did that lead to voiceover? Radio, radio was, was a natural, natural progression. progression. I, 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 that, that was... was... <sighs> Radio, Radio, much, much like, like voiceover, voiceover, especially the video, video game genre, genre definitely, definitely is, is, is a fool's passion that when, when you have that, it's, it's just a need. need. I mean, you, you just, just have, have to do it. it. There, there aren't options. options. So, so I did, did all, all kinds of weird, weird stuff and bounced, bounced around, around for a while. I didn't actually start, start radio until I was 26, which is ancient in radio standards. And I got a part-time job at a radio station in Fort Myers. And I actually drove three hours runway, one way to work a night shift on the weekend. Was that, was that, was that one of those uh, minimum wage jobs? Ah, oh, man, I, I'm guessing. It, no, I'm sure it was hourly minimum wage, like radio minimum wage even. Yeah, so. Yeah. It was, it was, it, it yeah, was out, outside know, they, of major markets. Radio typically doesn't pay very well, except no, for the morning no, guy, no, and it was, the sales yeah. people and maybe the afternoon drive guy or girl. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It, it was, was, so it, it was, was, I don't know, nine, nine bucks, bucks an hour and NTR, you, you, you know, know I, I can, I could go eat, eat wings, wings up the place, place where they had, had um, trade. <laughs> and <laughs> you remember. Oh, I need a television. <laughs> well, let's do it on trade. <laughs> let's do it on trade. Everything on trade. NTR, NTR, non traditional And, um, so, so after, after 10, 10 years, years uh, with, with the, the same, same company, company uh, uh, there, there was, was a bloodletting, blood and they just shook the building upside down, and even the person that hired me was gone. It was very jarring. Well, wait, I had wait a minute, been... wait a minute. You lasted on a radio station for 10 years? Mm hmm Oh, I'm not sure we can actually call this a radio career. I mean, you're supposed to be fired every year or two. And uh, that's... And that you, was... you know that was my experience for a long time. Is uh, and and the old joke. Well, if you if you haven't been fired on the radio, you really weren't working in radio. Well, well I, did I did get, get fired. fired. I mean, is, is it, it fired, fired if, if you, you get, get to come, come back, back, or is they, they, they just call it a suspension? A suspension? <laughs> well, I, oh, well, did you say something terrible on the air? Um, maybe <laughs> a couple of times. Well, I um, um suffice, suffice to say. say I was, I was a rock, rock jock, jock at night, night. And, and sometimes, sometimes that whole, you know, safety harbor thing, you know, it just sort yeah, of escaped me. The, the program was, director some... couldn't possibly be listening now. No, no actually, 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 the, the PD, PD didn't, didn't have an, have an, have an issue. issue. It's, it's when, when he, he got, got chewed, chewed out by people, people who, <laughs> you know, who, who had, had a problem and, you know, threatened advertisers and stuff like that. But the PD and I were tight. PD actually is the reason I was able to get into voiceover as, as well, well accommodated, accommodated as I was. was. Um, he, uh, John, John Ross, was, was getting out. He was doing side hustle VO. VO. Um, he, he was, was done. done. He, he didn't, didn't want to deal with it anymore. anymore. And, and he, he sold, sold me his rig, rig actually, actually, for significantly less than he, what he less wanted to get out of voiceover. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he's, and uh, so what kind of rig was it? Was it uh, it's four, four, four 16 Pro Tools and Box Mini, the whole. Thing. So, so I, I, I came, came into voiceover with a tremendous advantage. advantage. Um, um, number, number one, knowing my way around a studio. studio. I, I did, I had, had heavy production duties. I was production director for the station for, for periods of time. Um, usually, usually worked interim, interim as, a, as a production director. director. So, so I, when, when I stepped, stepped in, in, I had a lot going for me in that I knew production. I knew how to edit and I knew how, I knew which end of a microphone to address. So that, you know, there's that. And, and, and it's, it's, it's an, an edge, edge that a lot of people don't, don't have. And I think I probably took it for granted for a long time. And well, how, you know, having, um, having spent uh, 10 years uh, in a radio station uh, and around microphones and mixing boards. And uh, now, were you in radio when you actually had to splice tape? I actually, what technology for a very did? brief for a very brief period of time, I have uh, I have grease grease pen and razor blade did uh, more, more than one more than one spot. Yeah. So when, when I got in, we were back we were spinning vinyl and uh, cutting you know tape and on that little block and whatnot, which right? people uh, you know certain age have no. What are you talking about, man? Kids well, today, they have no idea what we had to do, Dave. They, they just don't, don't know. know. They'll no, never know. I had to walk uphill two miles 
backward and forward to school. And, and then and spliced things, things when I got, got there. And Damn it. Things. Hey, you know, um, you're very popular. So let me uh, <laughs> let a few people say hello to you. Uh, Thank you guys for coming, by the way. I am just, I'm so stoked. This is kind of surreal in very cool ways. Uh, Matt, <laughs> Jen, you are an echo chamber. I think she uh, understood that, Matt. Uh, Jim Bancole. Hello, Dave and Jim. Uh, uh, and Jen. Uh, Linda Baker. Hi, Jen. Hi, Linda. Oh, uh, I know one of your very good friends. What am I uh, doing? Oh, this is my girl. She, Michelle, Michelle and I, um, um, in, in the, the promo, promo that, you, you know Michelle. Michelle. That was, that's, that's, that's Michelle and I at the, the end of the beautiful, beautiful promo, promo that she cut, cut in oh, our, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. we, were we were actually in New York. York. We were in New York when that picture was taken. So there you go. And her two boys. Uh, hey, Mike Glover. Hey, Dave. Good to see you. I thought I was on a two-week break, but lucky me, just booked something. Hi, Jen. Um, hey, congrats. He probably did the thing. Uh, I've seen a number of those. It used to happen to me all the time. You're going to go on vacation. That's, That's how, how you do it. it. That's and, how you do you know, it. That's absolutely I haven't booked anything in a while. I'll go on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, Maurice Scott, uh, how you doing? Hey, um, gorgeous. Look, look at you. Um, yeah, and uh, Matt, again, you belong <laughs> anyway, lady face. But Matt, why are you shouting? Uh, <laughs> he has, has one, one volume. volume. He, has he has one volume. volume. Uh, uh, Janet Peters. And... Janet. Oh, she is, oh, she she is, is amazing. amazing. She is Jan amazing in all ways. Uh, just wonderful, smoky voice. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Justin Brown saying hello, and uh, Theo Mezzacapo saying hello, uh, Jared Brescher saying hello, uh, <laughs> da -da -da -da. oh, let's see, Jessica Fife. Um, <laughs> that was my air name. She's, she's bringing, bringing up, up the, the air name. name. That, that was, was that was me when I was, was in radio, radio was Jen the Rock Bitch. Oh, God, I was Billy David Ocean. Ugh. Hated <laughs> Uh, I'll, Lonnie, I'll, keep I'll keep you in the rock, bitch. bitch. Oh. oh, Lonnie Manella. Uh, hello, my wacky a gay Klingon friend. Ha ha. Two questions. Other than radio, what was <laughs> the first significant job you did and how did you get it? Two, uh, I know you've had success with at least a P2P site. If you still use that, uh, what percent of bookings can you attribute to that? Love you both. Boy, she got right into the questions. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me stop, stop and, and tell you about, about that, that lady. lady. <clears throat> um, and Anne, uh, Anne Gangoose is laughing at me right now because um, if she saw Lonnie's name uh, pop up, she, uh, me not losing it. And when we talk about the community and um, what what it means and what it does and so forth, and uh, I saved up change to study with Lonnie and uh, hit because we we had we had, we had nothing, man. It was a wick food stamps and. Um, I saved, I saved up change, change and, and, and finally just, just hit the coin star, star that day and I got in touch with her and Lonnie was, was my very first coach, coach and uh, mentor, mentor and, and she unlocked, unlocked she unlocked so many spaces. spaces. I mean, she, she gave, gave me so many opportunities just by virtue of the time that she spent, spent with me and showing me things about my ability to perform in places that things lived and just her general belief in me. Um, and you and I would not be having this conversation if it were not for her. And um, Well, you know, I, I, she, I get to work with Lonnie fairly often. Uh, she's a tremendous voice actor uh, and a very good director as well. And usually that's uh, the capacity where we're working together. She's directing... Uh, a video game, a number of games and whatnot that I'm in. And um, she's very giving. Uh, and she's very just been amazing. She she's just been amazing. amazing. And, and probably, probably gave me one of, uh, uh, certainly, certainly one, one of my, my first, first game gigs. gigs. And absolutely. And she, she, um, she, she brought she me into cryptic she brought me into neverwinter and that was that was my nerd creds man because those are the games that i played i played uh neverwinter and world of warcraft and you know first person shooters and the the to perform um when rise of tiamat came out i was like whoa whoa 
Whoa! And it's <laughs> so. I mean, she had slain me in so many damn games before as dragons and all these different bosses before. Now here I am working with her in the capacity and inside of these games and this experience that really drove me into wanting to be a game actor because the experience as a gamer is meaningful and I just get into experience. And so my uh, my my first jobs were I think like IVR things and outgoing messages that I that I would book on uh, this uh, Dave I started with ten dollars in a dream that one day I would I'd work 70, 70 hours, hours a week and get paid, paid for some of them, them. Um, um, on, on a contractor <laughs> site called Elance. And by God, God I've, I've made, made that, that dream come true. true. And, and yeah, I am getting $10 and a and week. And it, <laughs> it, it, I know it's like, <laughs> yes. And, uh, <laughs> and it's it funny, funny that, that the four figure weeks sometimes look exactly like the no figure weeks. And, um, and it's just, it's so cumulative. You just keep doing and doing and doing and, and then checks, well, sometimes, sometimes check happen. happen. It's, it's cool. cool. Well, um, you know what? Let's address that for a, a little bit. Um, you weren't at a you know big ball and rock station where you were making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, you were in a small market or medium market. Uh, medium market. It was in Fort Myers. Oh, yeah, Fort Myers. Uh, not a bad market, but uh, they typically just don't pay what uh, larger markets pay. And no. you've got two kids. I didn't, did I, didn't I didn't at the time. I didn't at the time. I did not at the time. The, the okay. kids came after my departure from radio. And as a matter of fact, the birth of thing one really galvanized. <laughs> um, that was uh, the, the universe made it clear in no uncertain terms that my radio career, that radio was not a career for me ever again. So um, I got, I really... You know, you know, we were, we were joking, joking about the, the, the turnover in radio, radio and you haven't worked in radio if you, you, if you haven't, haven't had, had that transient, transient, transient existence. You haven't been fired. Of 47, 11, 47, 11 times. times. And, and it was, I was sheltered, sheltered from a lot of that. that. Much, Much like I was, I've been sheltered from a lot of things in this industry by just having been in, found a pocket or somebody put me in a pocket. And all of the nastiness that radio has found, found me in one, one very consolidated, consolidated spot after, after the birth, birth of my, my first son. son. So, so um, um, the universe made sure I understood that radio was not the path I was going to follow. So. Uh, speaking of, uh, well, let's see, uh, somebody, let's see, uh, who is this? Uh, Scott Jim Chambers. The Rock Bits. Uh, Scott Chambers asked uh, what your name was, so. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. okay. So there we go. Just a little answer there. I, you know, you you are so loved in this community. Uh, we're getting a lot of. I love you so much. You're killing uh, me. You're, you're killing, killing me. me. And uh, 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 JDK wants to know what are the actual names of thing one and thing two. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron and, and Andrew, Andrew respectively. respectively. Oh, Aaron is twelve, and Andrew is eleven. Oh, um, my dude. But let's yeah. let's let's get back to your story. So, uh, you're out of radio. Uh, Lonnie Manella, you. How did you run into her? Well, well I, knew, I knew, I knew of her, her and, and I had started, started to get integrated into the community, the community uh, through, through Voice One Two Three. Um, um, speaking of the the, the pay to play sites, sites. Um, a, a lot, lot of people, people don't realize, realize that, that with its incarnation, incarnation today, today, there was a time that Voice One Two Three had a very robust community around it, and Stephen Lowell, who was their community manager at the time. Uh, they, would they would run, run contests, contests and all kinds, kinds of stuff. And that's, that's where I really um, started, started to get anchored into uh, VO in earnest, in earnest and uh, uh, won, won some contests and got, got some free, free subscription, subscription time and, and, and just took it from there. there. Right, right now, now um, I'd say, say no percentage of my revenue really is from pay to play. The only one that I'm on is Bodalgo, and I love it. And I do pretty well with North American jobs on, on Bulldog, um, um but, but it's, it's just, just an incredible, incredible site. site but it, now, it doesn't really it, constitute what is it you like about Bulldog? I, I i am notorious for not being a fan of the pay-to-play sites especially mm -hmm. uh, not even going to mention the name um yeah uh, but i i, I, think I, the trend... I always feel like um there are a lot more people just paying them money than actually getting work but also when mm -hmm. i look at 
uh, the union that I am, am in, most of the people aren't working there as well, but it's not the union's job to try to get you work. Uh, but what is it you like about Baldalgo? It's, it's exactly, exactly none of those, those things, things really. really. It's, it's um, um, I know, I know Armin, Armin personally, personally um, which, which is, is it, he, it, it's, it's funny. funny. I think if, if anybody were to meet Armin, Armin and, and spend, spend a few minutes, minutes with him, him you, just you just wouldn't have to ask questions about the, the, the transparency aspect of it. Not, not because, because it's, it's, just, <laughs> it, it's, it's beneath him, I think is probably the best way to put it. Armin Herstetter wouldn't do shady, shady things, things because, because the, the thought, thought of it is, is just beneath them. It's very off-putting. It's, you know, why, why, why do that, that when you can just work and do something properly and have it and, work and out And still have a good living and benefit yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Seems, Seems it's, it's ridiculously, ridiculously simple. simple. It's, it's a ridiculously, ridiculously simple concept. concept. And, and this, this, this platform, platform has been built on exactly that. And so, so the jobs, the jobs are, are there. there. There's, there's no skimming. There's no escrow BS. There's, there's no percentage, percentage of this. this what the uh, what the buyer posts, posts is what the buyer posts, posts and that is what, what you make. make. And, and it's, it's an, an introduction, introduction site. site. So, so you, you, you whether, whether you, you stay, stay communicating through the site or you you know never communicate through the site's interface again, that's that's fine too. And it's just it's. Again, it's, it's just, just unabashedly, unabashedly simple. simple. That it just, it just, just does, does it. it. And, and, and again, if you, if you met Armin, Armin at all, you would, would understand what I mean when I say it's just beneath him. him you do know, it's interesting. I'm, I'm, like a, I'm aware of Badalgo, um, but it's not a name that typically comes up first. Right. No. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. When you start talking about uh, pay-to-play sites, and perhaps that is why he's probably not uh, pushing himself as hard as some no, of no. the other sites are. Uh, but it, you know, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yeah. You know, he's got another thing. Hey, I. Oh, they just love you, Scott Chambers. Uh, question: <laughs> Can you describe the voiceover community in two words? Crazy, Crazy unicorns. unicorns. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and I, I remember meeting Scott years ago, and big, tall fella. And Scott said to me, "Yeah, you know, I'm doing a lot of you know hard sell car spots, and I want to get out of doing that." And I'd, Scott, I just want to let you know, I still remember that. I still remember that. So, um, tell me about your studio now. I, I honestly, my studio is exactly the one that I started off with. It is an overbuilt padded cell that is not pretty. Um, it's not, it's not posh. It's not posh. Uh, but it does everything I need it to. It is quite literally a padded cell. And I've got my 416. I've got an AT4047 backup. Uh, the simplest of interfaces. I've got an ID4. And, and my, my, my MacBook, MacBook, I use Twisted, Twisted Wave. So, so you, you don't have to spend tons and tons of money. You don't mm -hmm. need a mic collection. I need to tell myself that. Uh, <laughs> but you, uh, you have like, like don't you have like, like six, six four sixteens or something like that? Uh, three. Um, okay. You know, sometimes they're on sale. Uh, That's but, true. That's and true. I have a bunch of other mics. And what I discover, and I have, you know, you have the conversation with the two little... Uh, creatures on your shoulders your mm -hmm. devil and your angel and my devil says, yeah get another mic man oh you got to try that mic that mic's great uh and my angel says oh you don't need another mic you know you're just going to use that 416 or the 103 uh mm -hmm. but i always buy the mic anyway so uh, i think i just I accidentally, accidentally gave you a mom, mom face. face i'm, I'm sorry. sorry you did mm -hmm. yes oh, oh yeah, the mom yes, face. You will. You'll, 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 <laughs> you'll do that you'll, you'll buy, buy the mic, mic anyway, anyway. <laughs> so, so you've got, you are, you know, I hear a lot of women say they don't like the 416. What do you like about it? It's, it's mine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my, my workhorse. workhorse. It's, it's the, the I, don't I don't have a, a tremendous, tremendous amount, amount of mic. mic. You know, I, I, I haven't, haven't worked, worked with, with a lot, a lot of, of different, different microphones, microphones before. before. 
this is the mic I started with, you know, you know, honor who brought you to the party, so to speak. I've never had a problem with it. I have um, the the forty forty seven is 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 fantastic fantastic. it It has has, uh, the 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 sound sound is a little little bit bit warmer warmer. uh it doesn't doesn't have the 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 brightness and the crisp crispness of the 416 uh but also also, i have have a a deep and resonant resonant voice voice. and And i have a very 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 chesty voice voice. so So i some some of my my vocal vocal attributes attributes are rather rather characteristically male male. So so maybe just, just because, because of my, of my timber, timber or, or where my, my natural, natural voice lives, lives I've, I've never really had an issue with the 416. So, yeah. I always love the mic because I know what it it was designed for exactly. It was mm-hmm. de- designed for the human voice, and it is so versatile. You can work it close, you can work it medium, you can work yeah. it far away, uh, and and it doesn't really color anything. No, um, it just does, does what I need it to do. do. And, and that, that is, is, I'm not a gear person, person and I'm not a tech person. person. And, and I can, can make things function. And, and beyond, beyond that, that that's, that's, that's all I want them to do. do. I, I just, just want, want them to do what I need them to do without me having to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, wait, no, we don't want to use the word. I don't want to mess around with it any more than I have to. So, And you know what? Um. I, I've had discussions sometimes with students who, oh, I, I, I can't have a my studio set up. I have to put put it up and take it down, put it up and take it down. I'm like, oh man, it's terrible. Or make it easy on yourself. Uh, right. Get your your studio set up, however it is, however cheap or expensive it is, set up so that you walk in and everything's there and ready. Uh, yeah. I, I can't I, imagine, imagine having, having to, to assemble. assemble everything Everything. i mean i I guess guess you do what you you need to and you become become accustomed to certain things but yeah uh question here linda baker how do you spell the name of the site you were discussing bodalgo b-o-d-a-l-g-o there you go uh and jd has another write it down (laughs) yeah you know it's it's like is it there Uh, is it t-h-i-e or e-i it just uh, what was your first hooked video? on phonics didn't, didn't work, work for everyone. everyone. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what was your first video game, Jim? And Jim, and how did you book it? I think, I think my, my very, very first, first one was, was yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my very, very first, first one was called Office Rumble, and that, and that was, was a baptism, baptism by fire, fire. And, and I booked, I booked it on, on Voice One Two Three actually. actually. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. crazy. It was, it was like, like 30, 30 characters in a, a phone, phone, phone game. game. And, and, I, and I actually went, went on to do two or three, or three more games, games with the same group. group so. Excellent. Excellent. By the way, uh, somebody uh, uh, did the spelling for us. And Thank you, I, Jessica. If, Thank I, you. if I had just scrolled down a little, <laughs> I, I would have seen that. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Matt, uh, your studio is a padded cell for a good reason, love. Uh, that's, 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 that's true. true. That's, that's true. true. So now, what are the pads in your padded cell? They, they range, range from, from um, um, egg, egg crate. Like they're, they're, it's, it's all, all either a mattress material, material or... I have, I have two, two walls that... Yeah, this, this, and, and actually, it started off... It's, it's a shed. shed. It's, it's, of all things, things it's, it's a metal, metal shed. shed. From yeah, I'm going home, out to the shed from a Home Depot. I got yeah, yeah it's, it's an old, old me, it's an old metal, metal shed, shed from from from, from the, the Home Depot, Depot. and um, um I, took I took it and because, because it's you know metal, metal uh, which, uh, which is, is reflective, reflective, I just, just went crazy, crazy and just everything. It's mostly mattress toppers. There's no RLX in here. Um. You know, you know what? They, they were cheap. cheap. They, they were cheap. They did the thing. And they did the thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I to, to this day, day this, this is all the same stuff. stuff. And, and to this day, day I, cut I cut national radio, national, radio, national television, television commercials. commercials. I, I cut, I'm the, the brand, brand voice for Innovage. All of that's, that's done in here. here. Um, I, I video, video games. games. It's, it's I. It just works. It just works. It just works. And I'm looking at this tatty ass. Nobody really has an excuse. Sorry. Nobody really has an excuse. There, there's a way to skin mm-hmm. that cat. 
Um, there really is. is. There, there really is. is. Again, because started with nothing. nothing. And, and these are not even like really good mattress stoppers that, that, um, that line my, my that line my shed, shed here. So, so the uh, yeah, yeah, the bitch the box, box is alive and well with yeah. uh, handy dandy stuff. Uh, getting back to your career, you do a wide variety of things. Uh, you yeah, do yeah. video games. You do commercials. Uh, you do e learning. You do explainer videos. Uh, I find with a lot of my students that if they've been doing the narration and commercials, they have a hard time doing the character work and vice versa. Um, did What did you have to overcome or did you have to overcome anything or, or did it just come natural? Oh, yeah, this genre, do this. This genre, do that. I, I, don't, I don't think, think I've, I've, I really, really had... had uh, uh, a terrible, a terrible time, time switching back, back and, and forth. forth. Commercial, Commercial work was a hard nut, nut to crack. crack. And I really, I really kind, kind of finally, finally resigned myself to the notion that I just, I just okay, I'm just not a, you know, just not a commercial VO. VO. And okay, okay that's, that's fine. fine. Um, um, because, because I was, I was doing, doing other stuff. stuff. And um, once I just sort of got to the bottom of connecting with commercial copy, in, in understanding, understanding that, that every, every single thing, thing is acting, acting. then my, my commercial, commercial work really, uh, probably, probably things, things started, started to sort of change trajectory, trajectory big time, time about, about three, three or four, four years, years ago. And then in, in the last two years, years things, things have just gotten, gotten a little nuts. I mean, I want you to repeat that again. It's all acting. It's, it's all, all oh, it's, it's all, all acting. acting. It, it is, is ev every, every single, single bit of it is acting. acting with, because, because and I tell people, it, even e-learning e and the, the, the non-broadcast non genres, genres, because unless, unless you are Helen in, in HR, HR and, and you are really, really concerned, concerned about the fact that Larry has porn on his computer, computer at work <laughs> and it's out, out of compliance, unless, unless you are that person, you have to find a way to connect to, to being, being that, that person, person. To, to make, make what, what you're, you're doing, doing engaging. engaging. Otherwise, Otherwise Larry's, Larry's not going to get it, and it's going to fall on the head of the actual Helen in HR someplace. someplace. And, and and so and, and if we've, we've all had to sit through horrible sort of, sort of online, online presentations and stuff, and, stuff. and, and make, make it a goal to not be that person that somebody wants to just stab themselves with a fork rather than listen to you for another thirty seconds. And, and, and all, all of that, that lives in acting, acting and being and engaging and, and connecting with the, the, the person, person you're talking, talking to. to. So, so you, you have, have to know who you're, you're talking, talking to, to, but more, more importantly, I think, is who you are and, and your, your relationship, relationship with that person. person. Why, Why do they, they care what you have to say? say? So, so, you know, in, in that, that and creating that connection and and, and finding, finding a space, a space where, where that relationship, relationship lives makes, makes all, all the difference in the world. world. And a lot of that has, has to do with um, not, not just bringing you to the mic and being authentic, authentic but, but coming, coming to a place, place in your world, world and yourself that, that you know who you actually are. are. So, so you, you can access what, what you need to. And I think that lends to a lot of our satility. It's a road. It's a journey. And, and it, it takes, takes time, time and it, effort. It, it and never, it never actually really ends. It, yeah, no, 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 no it does, does not. not. <laughs> you know, so, you so, can make all of that question. So yeah. when you when you stepped out of radio or were pushed out, um, mm -hmm. and you started knocking on the voiceover doors, when when uh, commercial copy was given to you, did you think? Oh, I've got this because I've done hundreds of commercials on. Radio. Oh, absolutely, absolutely! Because I was a relatable DJ man. I was a rock jock. I was edgy. I was cool. I could talk to people. I'm just gonna knock the bottom out of the commercial bo. No, I was an idiot. That was wrong. That was so now, wrong. Now, how, what did you do to learn to do something else? And I, I specifically put it that way. Because I tell students of mine who may have come from radio uh, or maybe they had a voiceover career, but it was all hard sell that, look, I, I don't mm -hmm. want to have you not be able to do that. I just want you to be able to do something else. How did you learn to do something else? Probably, Probably. 
just learning over, over time, time and in, in the, the process, process of learning not just the technical aspects, aspects of it, but, but realizing, realizing that it's actual, actual people that you're, you're hearing, hearing on the television. television. It's, it's actual, actual people, people that you're hearing, hearing on national, national radio commercials. commercials. It's, it's a, a jock making chicken wings and, you know, know $30,000 $30, a year, $25,000 a year that you're hearing on local radio stations who wants to get out because they've got prod out the wazoo so they can get on with their life. And understanding the difference between, between those people, people and either what, what motivates, motivates or, or compels, compels them, them in addition, addition to cash, cash. Um, um, and, and coming to the realization, realization that getting, getting out, out of your, your own way is a really, really big deal. deal. So, so that's, that's, that's how, how I learned, learned to, to do things, things differently, differently is, is getting, getting out, out of my own way. No, and a no, lot of it is- What did you have to do to get out of your own way? And when you say that, are you talking about um, you, as a hard rocking uh, disc jockey, I know how to say these words. I can make everything very special. Was it was it that thing that you that was in your way? Was it that and that, was, that, was that was part of it? That was, that was part, part of it, part of it without, without realizing it. it but, but also, also getting over, over a lot of the preconceived notions that I had. I had, I had um, so many expectations, expectations of myself. Of myself. I believed, I believed that, that, you know, I was under the impression that I was supposed to know everything, everything about voiceover coming into voiceover because I was coming from radio and, well, well it's, it's the, the same, same thing, thing, right? Oh, believe um, me, believe me. Well, People coming yeah, from know, radio always believe that. It, and it's, I've and done it thousands was, of commercials. N no, no. <laughs> I, and none, none of those, those commercials, commercials helped me worth a damn, damn that I ever that I ever did in that arena. arena. Um, what, what I took, I took from, from radio that helped me was the production, production and knowing my way around the studio. studio. Other, Other than, than that, that, it was it was not helpful. And, and the people, people, the people I brought with me from radio. radio. Um, but getting, getting over, over those preconceptions, preconceptions and understanding, understanding they, are they are two entirely, entirely and, and much, much to my relief, relief ultimately. Um, but, but it was, it was pretty, pretty shocking. shocking. I'm, 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 a, I'm, not I'm not embarrassed to say, but I, I can, can remember, remember vividly seeing these, these you know, jobs, jobs that I was auditioning, auditioning for on Voice One Two Three, and like, like oh, oh my gosh, gosh I I'm, I'm gonna, gonna book this one, this one and I'm gonna, gonna do, do that, that, and this is gonna do that, you know, and I'm I'm on food stamps for F's sake, and so I needed to believe that potential was there, so. It, it was, was the, the period, period of time, time where expectations, expectations and reality finally sort of, sort of met up with, with each other, other mm -hmm. that, that allowed, allowed me, me to do a lot more. And, and of, of course, course um, um, training, training with people, people who, who who let me in on things. things. Oddly, Oddly enough, enough, I didn't I see. It's, it's weird. weird. The, the whole... whole Facebook, Facebook circus, circus that we, that we see, see in a lot of VO groups now didn't either, either either didn't exist or I wasn't privy to it because the universe has done a really good job of shielding me from things. So I didn't, I didn't know what I didn't know. And that worked and also didn't. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. I tell people all the time getting into voiceover, uh, look, I get in a, a, a Facebook voiceover group. You, you, you'll learn a lot. And now I'm at a point where I still, I still think that's good advice, but you've got to be careful mm -hmm. because um, all too often there are just too many people that really don't know what they're talking about, right. uh, but they are just expressing opinion, opinion, opinion. Um, I see people talking about equipment that they should buy that they shouldn't buy. Uh, so you, you do have to be careful. I've got a, a question here from Matt. Uh, and either of your opinions, how important do you view social media in moving forward in your VO career? Gee, right on point with what we're talking about. Right. I, what, do you, what do you think? Facebook, Facebook I, am I am most, most active, active almost, almost exclusively, exclusively active, active on, on Facebook. Facebook. And, and I, it, it's, it's a, a Again, it's a whole new world when it comes to social media than, than when I very first got started. And 
I have heard heard entirely entirely too many many times times that, that, yeah, yeah, your Instagram Instagram account matters. matters. Yeah, Yeah, your your Twitter Twitter account account matters. matters. And the more followers followers you have, the more people who are engaged with you and your brand, brand, the better your chances are of doing things, being found. I mean, how just in the last year, look at the people who have been quite literally discovered, rightfully so, rightfully so, on TikTok. Um, uh, you know, so, so you, you can't, can't discount the validity, the validity of it. it. I, I have, have not been able to take, take the right, right steps, steps to curate it, it the way. Yeah, it you know, I, um, because I'm old school and I started doing this long before, uh, the internet and social media, um, it doesn't come to me naturally. Right. Uh, and, but one of the things I did notice was a lot of those people who became TikTok stars went, hey, can you do these five commercials in this 60 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever the hell it was? Um, I have heard from agents, one, that they were annoyed that people started sending them TikToks of themselves yeah, doing that's that. That's a horrible, horrible idea. idea. That's, that's a horrible idea. And, and two, <sighs> that there were a lot of people who, uh, not all of them, of course, but a lot of people who had the same kind of idea that you and I had coming out of radio that, hey, if I'm this guy and I can do this thing and I can make that voice go like that and I understand how important every word that that somehow that was going to be the thing uh, that worked for you. Uh, I don't think there is a shortcut to this. I don't think so. No. You know, you you, uh -uh. got to be an actor. You have, you have to be. be. You have, you have to, be. to be. No matter, no matter what, what genre, genre you want to do, do everything, everything is acting. acting. Every, Every single, single bit of it, from a 10-second ten second billboard, billboard to, to uh, long-form long narration, narration and, and everything in between. In between. It's not it's just differently labeled characters, characters as, as, as character work, work goes. goes. And, and it, it, it might be different ideals or methodologies of acting that you apply from one genre to another. At the, at, the at the end of the day, day it, it, it has, has to be acting. acting. It, it has, has to be acting. acting. Because, Dave, Dave, I love you, man. I do not care what, what kind of butter you buy. You buy. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't. I, don't. I, like, I like to think of myself, myself as a good, good person. person. But, but, you know, in, in, order, order, in order for, for me to, to, to have, have you believe that your butter selection is important to me, then, then I have, I have to, believe to believe myself. myself. And, and, and if you're not, you're not believable, believable, then nobody's, nobody's going to book, book you. So. so Yeah, true that, true that. Uh, I often tell people you've got to have that conversation with yourself. Uh, you you want to do this car commercial, but you don't like the car. <laughs> uh, you may not realize that you're doing it, but you'll be projecting some negativity uh, about yeah. that. Um, there's things that I don't eat, but I certainly do their commercials. And I have to substitute mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. something that I really do like uh, to make that happen. Got a, a question here from Theo Mezzacapo. Question. So when you start, when uh, you're starting out auditioning, you have to be your own director critic. How did you get to a point where you can do it objectively without being too hard or too easy on yourself? Um, have you gotten to that point? I've gotten a lot better about that. And actually, um, between, Between you and, and J. Michael, Michael Collins, Collins really, um, um, most, most certainly, certainly when it comes, comes to commercial, commercial work or or not video game or not animation work. work. I mean, my, my process, process for, for animation and video games is, is, is different. different. At, At the, the same, same time, time, keeping the, the, the self-reminders that, that uh, you know, like, like three, three, and three. three. And, you know, Joe 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 Cipriano Cipriano talks about uh, uh, how, you know, actually, actually, it's it's even in the the discussion they have in Lake Bells in a world. They talk about um, in the movie, Joe, I think Fred Melamed and uh, Mark Grau are having the conversation about, you know, well, I was, can can you have a little more energy, Joe? I was like, well, you know what? I, this is 37 takes into it. Why don't you go back and listen to take two? Where I had all of the energy there, you know, and and just the understanding that grinding never ever works. If well, you've got, you know, if you do twenty takes of a commercial read, yeah, I, just you lose it. 
you know, sometimes, I, you know, I, I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm feeling really good about myself and, and my read. And sometimes, what's wrong with me? Ah. Uh, <laughs> but what I, I, was, fi- what, I, I find, like, no. what I find works the best is spending less time worrying about it yeah. and, and more time just doing it and uh, throwing away the words. Don't try to make it special. Yeah. Uh, just be believable, which um, is a little difficult. You you remind me of a story of the late great Don LaFontaine. Uh, he went into the studio and there was a young director in there because whoever was supposed to be directing couldn't be bothered you know, playing golf or someplace, which happens a lot now. You're working with somebody <laughs> uh, in the studio there. They don't get to really decide, but they're directing you. And, and then they have to call. Yeah. Um, uh, he's done. Well, can you get back? And we'd like to play the takes so we can let him go. Yes. I have a life. I'd like to you'd let me go. <laughs> uh, but he went in the studio and he had this director was, oh, you know, and if it's just a little more of this, if we could find the gestalt in that, if we could, you know, the Schottenheinzen for uh, just take after take after take. And uh, finally they said, well, Don, um, just forget about what I'm saying. Which, what direction would you like to go in? And as he pulled off his headphones and headed for the door, he said, listen to take one. <laughs> yeah. yeah and and, and that's, that's that's that's, that's the, the absolute, absolute truth. truth and i i i, I laugh so hard, hard because just hearing hearing, hearing you say and um to, to, to know, that know that you can get, get to a place, place no matter how seasoned you are we are all human, human beings, beings and as long as you are working as a human being at this microphone, microphone thing, thing you have days um i i as as much as I am happy that they are fewer now, I definitely have days, you know, a couple days on end where I'm just like, I suck, everything that leaves my face sucks, I don't know what was I thinking, I'm never going to about to, you know, and, and so, you know, when I listen to the play, and every playback just sounds like screaming cats in my head, and um, those days where I just, that when I'm super busy or running late, or, or really, really tired, tired. And, and I just, I just feel, feel like, well, this, this is just not going to get any better. I'm just going to send it out, whatever it is. Oh, screw it. I suck. I suck. I suck. I, I, and those are the ones you book. Those are the ones I book because I get to a point where I can't overthink it either because I'm too rushed or I I hate myself and it's not going to work anyway. So screw it. I'll just send whatever it is. And, and then, you know, or on the way out the door to get the kids. Or, or I, I <laughs> or, or I know, I know it's, it's only going to be a quiet upstairs, upstairs for another seven point two seconds before, before somebody, somebody you know before jumps thing off one the and sofa. thing two uh, get to yeah yeah, yeah, yeah before, before thing, thing two comes, comes off, off the top, top turnbuckle turn and uh, and, and that, that makes, makes noise. noise. So let me, uh, let me pop another question up here, um, Jessica Reynolds Matheson. Is it worth hitting up a radio station to do spots for them, or that is it just a lost cause? Uh, I'll vote for Lost Cause. I bet you yeah. too. Um, yeah. And your reasoning would be they don't, don't want to pay, pay you. you. Yeah, and they've they've got disc jockeys there to yeah. uh, do bad commercials for them. Uh, yeah, for yeah. the most part, they, they don't, don't care, care if it's, it's the, the same, same five, five jocks. Yeah, that's, on, that's, that's, on that's all of their local stations. stations. Yeah. Uh, Jim McNicholas, uh, where do you find new leads usually? Uh, mostly, mostly my, my agents, agents and, and I, I am very, very happy, happy to say that I have a really robust, um, referrals. Yeah. And that's, that's you know, what, that, that, if, if I, I can, can say, say that, that is really meaningful, meaningful and really important, important when you can create circumstances where not only do clients call you back, back where you become, become the go-to and, and that's, that's always been my goal. goal. And, and and my hope and you know, what, what I, try I try to accomplish, accomplish is become, become part, part of the team of whatever they're doing. And then and once you're integrated and somebody else either in another department or, you know, a, a buddy that somebody knows from something gives you their name and now you're working for their company as well. And just seeing the, the seeds of that, that referral tree, uh, uh, lots, well, of referral food. Tree lots of food and, on that and repeat business uh yeah. you build a career on repeat business it's nice to have yeah. the little one-off jobs uh mm-hmm. but when you are 
coming back every week, every month, every you know, yep. few times a year. That's fabulous. Scott Chambers, uh, Dave and Jen, former radio people, catch hell in VO. I think we can use it to our advantage to a degree. What are your thoughts? We're, We're thick-skinned. Thick skinned. That's, That's for damn, damn sure. sure. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about that aspect. I, I think one of the things... Uh, we're used to picking up a piece of paper and reading it uh, well, maybe not with, you know, real heart and real thought, uh, but mm -hmm. being able to make the words do a dance, being able to read well. Uh, right. Now, what we have to do is stop trying to read well and make the wor words do a dance and connect with, you know, what it's saying, with how we think, how we feel, and another person. But I do think uh, comfort with a microphone, as you mentioned, you know, production skills, mm -hmm. um, and not a fear of, uh, not a, not a fear. Yeah. yeah not, not, not a, a fear. fear. And, and I, I think, think generally, generally speaking, speaking, and it's, it's very, very under, under underrated, underrated and underspoken. And underspoken. I, believe I believe people that come from radio backgrounds are, are much more agile or agile, agile. um, um where, where we can, can pivot, pivot on whatever, whatever needs, needs to happen, happen. Whether, whether it's live, live in a session. session. Um, I, I definitely, definitely noticed that, that, that I, I, think I think just generally, generally being accustomed, accustomed to um, the communicating, communicating with people while you have a microphone, microphone in your face. face. I, I, we, take we take that, that for granted, granted I, think. I think. And, and believe, believe when, when I, I you know, know give, give it consideration, consideration, I think there's a huge advantage for people, people coming out of radio, radio. And, and it's things, things that, that you know most, most of us did, did it for so long or have done it for so long that there's, there's a lot, lot of things that we take it for granted as being a huge advantage, advantage coming, coming from, from that background, background and, and not just, just from the studio, studio not being frightened of a microphone. microphone. Um, um, as, as a jock, jock I said stupid all the time. time. So, so you know, know I'm, I'm not necessarily frightened of of saying something dumb. And having, having to do it again, again one of my, my best, my, my, my best, best pickup, pickup in session ever, ever was, um, when I, 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 I came to the end of the read and in, he, he said, said, uh, Jen, you know, that, that was, was fantastic. fantastic. If, if we, we could, could just pick, pick up that, that second sentence on the second paragraph, paragraph the, the word, word is aerospace. Aero um, I had, I had said Aerosmith. So... <laughs> Yes, you were a rock jock, weren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was, but you know, but they laughed anyway. They, they laughed anyway. anyway. So that was, you know, that and, was... Uh, the brain's a funny thing. A lot of times it's expecting certain words when you're reading. Uh, <laughs> your brain expects certain words to follow other words. And I think mm -hmm. it makes perfect sense that your brain said, oh, aerospace, because you probably, and here's one from aerospace. Well, and and you know, aerospace yeah, I probably said aerospace on air more than once, too. So <laughs> naturally, you know, swap, swap it up for aer aerosmith, aerosmith and copy for Lockheed, Lockheed Martin. Martin. Uh, that um, has another comment. If I may have, uh, how have either of you worked through your own self-doubt when, when you trip over your feet and bust ass down the stairs about auditions? I didn't, I didn't give the universe, universe. There, 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 there was, was nothing, nothing negotiable about me doing this. So, so while well, I, I, I certainly, certainly had more than one opportunity where I stomped my feet and said, I'm not doing, doing this anymore. anymore. I'm going to sell all, all my equipment. I'm just not going to do it anymore. And I'm going to kick dirt and eat worms, worms. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go to work in a medical records office, you know. And But at the end of the day, I did not... Create. create a, a, I didn't allow, allow for a plan, plan B. B. Yeah. So you know, yeah, plenty of times, times I fall down, down bust, bust my ass, ass so to speak, and uh, got, got back up because, because yeah, I had things to do. You, you know? know, and and yeah, yeah you, you. Let me ask you this: How do you? Um, you're having a bad day, or you're in that session, and you've hit that one sentence, that one word, uh, that just won't come out of your mouth. How do you get out of your head? Um, just, just, uh, just, just a, switch. a switch. I switch, I switch into, into somebody, somebody else's head. head. Yeah. Actually, as, as, as crazy as that sounds, sounds um, if, if if some channel isn't serving me, then you just you just change. The, I just I just change the track because uh, I've been, been in too many situations, situations like that. Because you, you can't choke. So, so there's, there's a coping, a coping mechanism, mechanism that just 
kicked in at some, some point, point in time, time where uh, and, and I'm going to say for other people listening that you're all you're you are going to make mistakes. Oh yeah, you are going to have that word, that sentence, that phrase uh, that is is just messing with you, um, probably once on every gig. Um, and you just have to, yeah, for me, it's a quick cuss myself out and, and then I'm back. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, comment here, Michael Glover lying. Everything that leaves my face sucks. That's not true. Um, <laughs> and another comment from Michael, do your agents get a contract for all the jobs you work? Oh, oh I, don't I don't know. know. I, I, I assume, assume so. so. Yeah, of course. I, and, I mean, and, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's why, why I have, I have agents, agents because, because there are things, things that, that I'm, I'm really, I'm really good, good at. There, there are, are things, things that, that I just suck at. at. And, and so if, if I am more than happy to pay my agent, agent commission yeah. to just, just do what, what I do, do. and, and yep, that's, that's it. it. Curate that's the auditions that are coming to me, handle the booking, uh, negotiate price and make sure I get paid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that works. Michelle, again, <laughs> to both of you, uh, what is something you do outside of VO, whether it be a hobby or getting out there in nature, et cetera, that makes you even better in the booth because you've taken uh, you time? <laughs> I, I'm going to say the rest uh, of life. Yeah. Um, it, <clears throat> you know, uh, I used to play tennis all the time. Haven't been on the court in a little bit. Uh, my wife and I play backgammon every night. Um, I, I enjoy TV and movies. Not all of it, but um, uh, I, I enjoy the medium uh, and, and, and talking about things and engaging with people about politics and various other things. Uh, being in life outside of being in voiceover. Uh, I know to a certain extent it defines me, uh, but you've got to be more. You have, have to, to be. be. And, and I, even, even though, though I don't, I don't leave the confines of the bubble so much, unless, unless it involves getting on an airplane, airplane um, my, my head, head spends, spends plenty, plenty of, of, even, even though, though my butt is, is in one place most, most of the time, time, a lot of the time, time my, my head, head goes different places too, too from, from Legos to Roblox to... Um, animation. Um, animation, both, both of my, my kids, kids are into animation. animation. Andrew, Andrew is, is an incredible, inc they're both incredible, incredible artists. artists. Um, and so, so getting, getting able, able to share that and do that and, do that and just, just something, something as simple as being interested in, interested in or at the, the very least conversant in, in the things that are passions for my guys makes all the difference in the world because I can have a conversation with anybody about um, Redstone. Uh, okay, any adult and most kids. I, I, I can at least follow along enough to be for them to be impressed. You know, they don't have high expectations because I'm an adult and I'm a mom. Well, you're, you're mom. Mom, mom it, we love mom, but mom is never cool. Uh, when I was a mom disc jockey, my, everybody yeah. else thought I was cool except my kid. <laughs> so, so far, far so, so far, far they um, um they, they still, still talk, talk to me. My my twelve year old still gives me a hug before he goes into school from right in front of the school. So um, oh, you got about another year, year and a half. Uh, shushies, <laughs> shushies, shushies, Dave. Shushies. This is my. This is new. This is my delusion. This is my delusion. I'm going to keep it as long as I can. Um, but it's cool that. <clears throat> As, as long as, as I, know I know what they're, they're interested, interested in and, and can, can follow along, I still, still feel less like I'm losing them. them. And, and there's, there's a, like there's a conduit. conduit. Yeah. As, as long, long as, as they, they can, can, you know, talk, talk about EDM, EDM and, and I'm, I'm interested, interested or can at least feign interest, interest then, then maintaining, maintaining that relationship is going to be easier because, you know, another year or so, as you so aptly pointed out, they're, they're going to start to drift and they're, um, you know, hit, hit the teen years. So. Hey, we are rapidly running out of time here. Let me get this question in. Curious, how do either of you do taxes when uh, booking tons of jobs rolls at the end of the year? Uh, that's why there are accountants, accountants. And, and accounting software. 
Uh, Michael Glover, once again, the everything leaves my face comment was something Jen and I uh, said that I thought was funny. That's all. Okay. I, 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 I don't want you to think that everything that leaves your face is is wrong. Uh, because it does. He's so cool. cool. Every, I, I am so. Th thank, thank everybody, everybody for, for for coming and hanging out. And Dave, Dave thank, thank you so much for having me and um, you know just, just bringing me into hang out and spend this time. And one, I got one more question Apple? for you. I know how you did it. What would you suggest for that person that happened to be listening right now? They're thinking about voiceover. Somebody told them they had a nice voice, or uh, they heard about it and they want to get into it. What would you say to do? Acting, Acting lessons. lessons. And, and you don't, don't have, have to spend, spend a ton, ton of money, of money and, and, you know, community, community college, college, local theater, theater companies, companies, improv, improv groups. Um, <clears throat> it can be a great experience, even if you end up not pursuing voiceover, voiceover just, just becoming in, with, with a community, community, in an acting, acting community, community, learning improv, improv, um, improv, improv for commercial, commercial work, work is, is a different, different animal and also is still, still so important, important and so relevant. So relevant. Acting, 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 acting. Huge advantage. Oh, one It'll more. save you a lot acting. of time. One more. Acting. Acting. And, acting. And, and one more comment. <laughs> Can't Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I came in late, but love what I saw and heard. Jen mm. Henry, Dave Fenoy, Rock. Uh, that from, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. But not just Debbie Harada. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Sarah Tyndall, I got to run my thing one and two, need to go to the store. And I guess uh, thanks so much for being there. So she's got a thing one or two also. Uh, another comment. So many Jen, things. You're amazing. Thank you for speaking here, Dave. Thank you. I'm sure we'll speak sometime soon. And, uh, you know, with that, oh, Jimmy Bancole says uh, thank you both. And thank you, with Jimmy. that, I got to let you go because my dinner is waiting on the table. And That's uh, fair. I, I That's appreciate fair. you so much. Um, you are truly loved in this community. Uh, and a, a lot of people, a lot of people are loved, but there's something special about you and the way you have approached uh, the members of this voiceover community that, that makes you somebody special, somebody that everybody wants to help. Um, and because you're always there and wanting to give and give and give and give so uh blessings you upon you my dear thank, thank you i'm, I'm just, just a reflection, reflection of, of the people, people around me and i'm, I'm grateful, grateful for that, that. Thank, thank you so, so much. much enjoy your dinner i shall i shall and uh i'm gonna let you go and uh okay. talk to everybody here jen henry everybody how did you feel about her <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's about as close to a standing O as we get around here. But anyway, um, thanks again. Back again on Wednesday. I am going out of town tomorrow. I'm going to be gone uh, tomorrow through Monday. I am going to my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio for a high school reunion. I'm not going to tell you which one. But I haven't been back to Cleveland since uh, one year out of high school. My parents had moved to D.C. after that. And it's going to be interesting, to say the least. So, uh, in the meantime, book something. And we'll see you next week. Uh, Dave Fenoy voiceover training. If you want to see this and other, ask Dave Fenoy anything, DaveFenoy.com uh, for lessons and so forth. And see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>